Welcome back to our online class. I would like all viewers to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more of our videos. Today we're talking about trigonometric ratio and we'll be using these on Pythagoras theorem to derive some equations that we have. Now looking at this diagram here, we're having the angle of theta. We are having another angle 90 minus theta. That is, we have the sum of an angle in a right angle triangle is 90 degree. We are having this. So we are making use of so katoa. The so so is equal to sine theta. That will give us opposite all over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to from this side. Here is my opposite of the having C all over B by the car from the Sokatua cos theta that is what adjacent all over hypotenuse that will be giving us A all over B by the Toa that is tan theta that will give us that will give us opposites all over adjacent and that should be C all over A C over A on this triangle the angle is right there on A so this A will become the opposite when I'm out this triangle the A will become the opposite if I have another triangle like this and I place an angle here and I have A, B, C and here is A, here is C, here is B the opposite will be right here. The opposite will be right here. But looking at this triangle, I'll be having um, sine 90 minus theta to give me that what A all over B by cos 90 minus theta to be giving me that C all over B by tan. 90 minus theta is then an opposite all over adjacent that was 12 that was a all over c now to complementary angles complementary angles an angle is right set to be complementary if the sum of the angle is equal to 90 degree. So an angle is complementary when the sum is equal to 90 degree. From this equation, we can match make this together. We have this together as well. We can say that sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Why we have cos theta to be equal to sine 90 minus theta. Why tan theta? To be equal to cos 90 minus theta. So we add this for complementary angle. So we can as well use Pythagoras theorem to derive equation. Pythagoras. Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. And this tells about what the, the value of one and hypotenuse square. Hypotenuse square to be equal to opposite plus adjacent square from this value we are the word hypotenuse hypotenuse square equal to opposite square plus adjacent square using using figure A figure A so this figure A and this figure B so if I'm using figure A, the hypotenuse is B squared equal to C squared plus A squared. Divide both sides by hypotenuse squared. I will have 1 equal to sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. C all over B from this value is sine, while A over B is cos. We can have this equation like this, talking about the Pythagoras formula. 
as well we can also divide both sides by the cos square theta again to derive another equation. This will give me set set square theta equal to tan tan square theta plus one. Where I'll be having I'll be I'll be having tan square theta to be equal to say square theta minus one. This other formula we'll be using on this side. I would like you guys to subscribe to all the part two of these uh, to ratio. Thank you.